OK, Mike, so just clear up a little bit of a, a confusion, because some papers credited City's goal on the weekend to Wilmot, others said it was Ballard. Who, who got the goal? Chris Wilmot. I mean, to be fair, if you were to, if you were to put Andy and Chris shoulder to shoulder, you, know, you wouldn't think there was any resemblance at all between one and the other. Yeah, there was a lot of bodies in the box at the time. I know they fell on the tunnel, he gave it to Andy. And um, I think in the local press, it was also given to Andy, but it was 100% Chris Wilmot's goal. But who decides that? Yeah, it's a difficult one. I mean, we, you know, we all know it was Chris. I would imagine if I was Chris Wilmot and on the Conference North website or the Conference website, it was credited to Andy. I might get on the phone to them and put them straight. I mean, uh, there is a... I remember I scored a goal once for Oxford United and um, it was accredited to somebody else. And I actually went and saw the referee after the game and I said to him, who got the goal? And he went, you did. I said, is that official? He said, yes. So, maybe it's the referee, I don't know, but it was definitely Chris's goal. OK, so Fatou's opponents, Stanley Bridge Celtic, have got a manager, Jim Harvey. He's got some pedigree, both as a player and as a manager. Have your pars crossed before either as a player or a manager? Well, they crossed. They crossed when Jim was a player and I was a ball boy. The story goes is that Jim Harvey signed for Hereford in the mid-70s and my dad was on the, the coaching staff. I think he was assistant manager at the time. And I was a ball boy. And um, Jim played in midfield and was very cultured, come from Arsenal. And um, I used to watch him play every Saturday afternoon. So um, our paths have crossed. I would imagine Jim wouldn't be aware of it or would have forgotten it, but I haven't. Because um, that was part of my, you know, part of my education as a young footballer. I was 14, 15 watching, which I thought was a very decent footballer, and his teams have gone on to play in, in a very similar fashion to how he played when he was a uh, when he was playing. But you'll know your dad then, won't he? Yeah, he will do. In fact, it was my dad's coming Saturday, and, and uh, I made him aware that Jim was manager, and he, he didn't realise. So I think that'd be nice for him to catch up. But I'm, I'm always wary of telling my dad that there's players that he worked with because he might have fallen out with them, and they don't want to speak to him. So. <laughs> Um, but no, I think I can't imagine that being a problem. So that'd be nice, nice to see, and I'll remind him that that I was 14 and watching him play when I was growing up, making him feel really old. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so talking about another uh, manager you've had dealings with in the past is Dennis Smith, who was commentating for Oxford, very busy very Oxford on, on the week, and he was very complimentary about you, saying that you were someone that uh, you know knew how to motivate players both on the pitch and in the dressing room. Looking back, is there any part of your, your game now as a manager that you can look back and think was influenced by Dennis Smith? Well, Dennis, Dennis was a real big influence on me because he inherited me as a player and, and obviously when you become an inherited one, you've got a point to prove. And I've been a regular in the team for a couple of seasons, but I still had to make sure that I was in the team. And unfortunately, I did enough to convince Dennis that I should be playing every week. Then we sold Jim... Um, a Jilton to Southampton and uh, it was a, I think it was a toss up probably between me and Matty who was to be captain and, and I was I really really wanted to be the captain and Dennis pulled me in before the next game and said he was making me skipper and he explained to me how he wanted me to do it and um, just that little conversation with me made me a much better player uh, made me a much better person and uh, made me mature and grow into maybe the captain that I was and I was captain of the club for five years I, I owe Dennis a lot, lot for that and, and w one of the big things I learned from Dennis was is it, it's very important that you pull players to a side you don't have to tell them in front of the group and um, Dennis was good at that he, he'd get people in his office he'd talk to them on the touchline and he gave us confidence to go and play and um, I, I, really, I really enjoyed playing for Dennis he was a real he was a real football man and um, sort of like him, talking about him like he's no longer here, but <laughs> he's very definitely so. As, as a manager, you know, I'm sure he is right now, he, he was a real, real football person and um, it was a real pleasure and a privilege to play for him. Let's turn our attention to Saturday, Spain and Beach Celtic look a useful side. Yeah, they're, um, they're full time, uh, which, you know, there's, there's a lot of positives for that. You know, they can, the manager can work with the players every day, they'll probably be reasonably fit got a young side, will play, will try and play from the back. And um, it's another test for us. You know, we've, we've had lots of tests this year and um, we've come through most of them, even our defeats, probably bar Saturday, we got beat by the better side. I thought on, on um, last Saturday we, we should have got a result and we didn't, that was disappointing. What is it about ten men that somehow, psychologically, you think you've got an advantage, but nine times out of ten you can't beat ten men, can you? So well, I think that definitely had an effect on the game. I, I thought that when we 
when we had the numerical advantage, we stopped being as honest as we were. We didn't run back and we didn't work as hard and we took liberties with the game. You know, we lost our shape a little bit and we went a bit gung ho. And, you know, if you look back now and say to the players, we would take the point, they, they'd gone, of course we would. But we didn't know how to do it. And, and we'll learn from that. You know, you just got to play the same way. You got to keep your shape, you got to keep, keep disciplined, keep playing in the right way, uh, and the goal will come. We had enough opportunities to won it anyway. You know, one fit off the line and crossbars and posts and goalkeeper saves and blocks and stuff. And but yeah, there you go. That, that's football, and we've learned and we move on. Right, the last home game, Declan came off injured. Is he okay? Yeah, Dex fine. He, you know, had last weekend off because he was at a wedding. Which, uh, you know, looking at our result, it was a big loss for us. So he um, hope he enjoyed his wedding. Um, I heard his speech didn't go down very well. <laughs> so he probably should have got on a coach and kind of Vauxhall with us, but. It's good to have him back. He's been a real revelation for us this year. He's been great, and um, like, like all the players, they've done really well. But we've got to go and do really well again on Saturday. You got a full squad to pick from? No, we haven't. Uh, Felipe's actually gone to Brazil for a wedding. His sister's getting married. You so have to stop this, mate, won't you? Well, it's a difficult one. Uh, you know, they're, they're contracted, but it's family, and, and family comes first. And if we were full time, he wouldn't go, but we're not. So, um, you know, he's gone with our blessing and hopefully has a nice time. He's waited two weeks, he's going to miss three or four games. Um, so we're going to lose his impact coming off the bench with his pace. But, um, but it's, a, it's an opportunity for other people, isn't it? It is. Well, Nick Stanley, hopefully, will be back in the group on Saturday, which, which would be great for him, really good for him, because he's worked really hard recently to get himself near the squad. And, um, yeah, fingers crossed he comes through playing for the Nomads tomorrow night and he's with us again Saturday.